All right, Sunday, August 29, 2021, about 5.35 in the morning. I got the old CZ with a 17 HM2 barrel on it, the old shoot stick. I'm going to almost make the same journey I made yesterday morning. Conditions probably better this morning. We had some rain yesterday afternoon, not much, but some. A little fog down low, light winds. We'll see what happens. 712. I've seen three total. The wind has died down laying real low. You see that squirrel there? I shot him at about 13 feet, not yards, feet. I had to aim over him a mile though, because of that old scope on that gun. It's almost like these squirrels are just waiting for me. They're real spooky, but that heat will do that to them until it cools off. It's, it's not real hot out here this morning though. Okay, I've shot a fox squirrel here. I come by these trees yesterday morning. I want you to see those nuts right there, how they're eat. Right there's a few more. See how they eat the side out of it? A gray squirrel don't usually do that, okay? So if you see that, see that in the wood. <clears throat> there's some more right here. See them right there. It's like they eat one side out and they get the nut out of it. Gray squirrel won't do that. They'll roll that nut more than fox squirrel will. I'm going to go down here and look at this fox squirrel here. He wore the ground out. I know that. All I can see is his front feet moving. You see that old eye? Get that camera on him here. There he is. I bulged out a little bit. He got a little lead through the head. Okay, see what that old fox squirrel does? He don't eat the nut all the way around. He eats in the halfway in there. He gets in there and gets that goodie out. A lot of times a fox squirrel, when they're eating a nut like this right here, they'll drop a bigger piece out of a tree versus a gray squirrel. A gray squirrel won't drop a big piece like this old fox squirrel will. There's a lot of fox squirrels in here. I killed a lot of fox squirrels out of here last year, but now, boys, they beat these woods right here up. They still nuts in here. Now, they're not stirring good this morning. It's still too hot for them. All right, the squirrel's eating that right there. See them little berry-looking things on there. <coughs> the ground here is covered up. Back this camera out a little bit. They're hard to see on the ground because they turn a little brown. Now they just squirrel come out of this tree. All right, here's a wrap up on this hunt. Two squirrels. I've seen about 11. I've seen more squirrels this morning than I've seen yesterday morning, but these squirrels didn't have no appetites, okay? The squirrels I was seeing, I've seen two leave a tree at 7.36. And that's awful early. And I'll tell you probably why they left early. We had a real good shower of rain coming here yesterday evening from about 2 to about 3. Okay. And when that happens, now I know the squirrels didn't stir good yesterday morning. It was so hot. What they'll do is this will throw their eating cycle off. Okay. So them squirrels that come in them trees this morning, they eat, I'd say they eat from about 3.30 yesterday afternoon, 4 o'clock till dark. Okay. So they eat three hours solid. And I would say this afternoon will be a much better hunting time than this morning was because they didn't eat much this morning. Okay. Only squirrel I actually shot of eating was this old fox squirrel. And he probably didn't stir much yesterday evening with that, with them wet leaves. I hope you enjoyed.